right, we're out here in Keenansville today. We're out here just seeing what we can do. Today, I forgot my uh, forgot my sunglasses, so it's gonna be kind of rough. So today, we're gonna be punching mats because we don't have a lick of clouds today. It's today's probably the worst day to forget sunglasses. Oh, I still got them. I thought I lost them. We're gonna yank them out of there. <laughs> Little guy. <laughs> I thought I lost when he came out. Goodbye. God, these little guys. Grabbed at the last second, no. <laughs> Goodbye. Come on out. He ain't big. He took off with my bait. My drag was loose for some reason. Probably the smallest guy I caught today. Goodbye. Oh. That's a bigger one. Same exact spot where I caught the little guy. Look at that. Saw a three, four pounder. Hook came right out. Oh, nice one. Let you go. Goodbye. And she's off. <laughs> that was funny. That was, oh, let me explain what happened there. Well, guy. Okay. Goodbye. I went to punch through and it didn't go through, so I picked it up. I popped it up to get it off the mat. When it came back into the water, it came out and grabbed it. Like it went into the water on like an open area. That was funny. I hope that made sense. Oh, it's big. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. What a fat one. Better than the last one. Look how perfect that hook set is. I don't know if you can tell. Right where it needs to be. Yeah, a little smaller than the last one, but I'll take it. That's look at that. Look at the fat, how fat that thing is. Cool. Let her go. Goodbye. Woo! Oh. Oh, I lost them. That was a good hit. Dang. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a big one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I tell you what, I tell you what, son, son, look at that, look at that. <laughs> Another nice fish, I'd say six, seven, probably seven. Wow, dude, that's crazy. Wow, all right, put her back. That's why I need a scale, man. That's why I need a scale. Let's see if I can get a video of her leaving. <laughs> that made up for that lost fish right there. Cause I don't know how big that one was, but it, it nailed it just as hard. Oh, <laughs> that was cool. I right, came off. That's fine. Dude, <laughs> that was crazy. Um, bait didn't go all the way through the mat. It was just sitting on top. So I popped it off to get it off of there and it lands back into the water in the middle of nowhere and this bass comes shooting out of the mat. Come grab it. I almost, I don't know. <laughs> I got the smaller one. Ooh. The big, that one I lost right there was the, was the female, this is the male. 
Goodbye. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Let's make another loop, see what happens. I think it's, it seems like they like that windier side better. And I think it's a little deeper over here too. I think it's too shallow over there. Oh, Jesus. Gosh. Solid one. Goodbye. Oh. Oh, rocket ship. I'm not gonna get you in here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Open your mouth. You open your mouth every other time, but when I want to lip you. Oh! Hook fell right out. Woo! That's a long lady. <laughs> nice. Whew. Skinny, spawned out. Yeah. Definitely spawned out, but let's let her go. Ooh. Let's talk about what I'm using today. I found, first of all, mostly all these high swim mats are too shallow for any fish to hold up underneath it. They usually want a little bit deeper water. See, right now I'm in four foot of water. That's like the perfect water depth for the fish to kind of hang out under. But everything else, like two foot, foot and a half, you're not going to find too much. Like. Earlier today where I caught those two smaller ones, like real small ones over there that way. And that was way shallower water. So as you can tell, deeper water, bigger fish. But anyways, what I'm using is a BB Cricket from Gambler. I like anything black and blue, at least here in Florida. I, I'm pretty sure the black and blue is universal to any state. But anyways, BB Cricket, uh, three aught flipping hook. Uh, right now I'm using a sixth sense flipping hook and so far it's doing pretty well. Let me get a little closer for the camera. So far that uh, three out six sense flipping hook is doing pretty good. Uh, I, I haven't missed too much fish. Right now I have an ounce weight. Usually I'll have like ounce and a half or ounce and a quarter, but I don't have any. And this is all what Bass Pro had. They only had an ounce left on the shelf so that's what i picked up and that's what i'm using and then two bobber stops to help it stay where it needs to be and then i got 65 pound braid now with this weight having some chip paint i personally feel like that helps to bite a lot because that little bit of shine gets them triggered a little bit more and that's why they hit it so hard i think anyways that's just my opinion but a lot of guys don't like the weights chipping like that. I feel like it gives them something different. Like it has a bit a bit of contrast. So you got black and silver. So I I don't know. I I think it helps. The reason why I use the BB Cricket is because I think anything else is too big. And I know bass have giant mouths and they can eat anything really. Um, a lot of people like using the why not. Now, you can tell the difference between these two, how the size difference. So I'm holding them nose to nose. I feel like a lot of these bites are just reaction bites. And when it comes down in their face, they just nail it. And I, I feel like the bigger bait, the bigger, thicker bait, I can't get a really good hook set to it. With the BB Cricket, I can. I feel like when they hit it real fast and you know, you have like a split second to react. I think using the BB Cricket is a, a better option for me. It, this is all personal preference, really. So the drawback of using the, the BB Cricket is the hook comes through the other side. Even if you put it like halfway where you need to really put it, it's still kind of, if it gets hung up in the grass, it still pokes out. 
still pokes out like that and gets hung up a lot. But the more you do it, the, the easier you can get it in and out of this grass um, without it hanging up. But I feel like the smaller bait just makes my hookup ratios so much better. And I really don't think that they care what is coming into their face because, like I said, I think 90% of these bites are reaction bites and not really them thinking of what it is and should they eat it. They just, it's in their face, they're gonna eat it, you know? But that's what I use. Um, my rod and reel, I have Shimano 7.7 medium heavy extra fast. And I got this like 12 years ago. <laughs> it's an old, old rod. And the only reason I got it, it's a Compre. And the only reason I got it is because it said flipping on it, on the thing there. So, I, you know, I thought, hey, flipping should be good. So far, it's doing good. It's just not very comfortable in the hand right here when I'm flipping all day long. So I'll be looking into getting a different rod here soon. Um, the reel I'm using is a Shimano Corrado 200G7. Yeah, G7. It's a seven seven or it's a seven to one gear ratio. I know they make faster reels, but again, this is another. I think that's like ten or twelve years old. I think at this point, and it's holding up real good. I think that was the fastest they made back then. Now they got like eight to one or eight nine to one. They got stupid fast reels now. But I'll probably be upgrading my flipping rod here shortly, but so far it's doing the job. Can't really complain. So that's my setup for punching grass mats here in Florida. I would normally have a bigger weight, like I said, but that's just all I had. But I mean, maybe that ounce weight is good enough. If, as long as you can find like little tiny holes in the grass mats that you can get that weight through. Because if you're gonna try to punch through anything, it's not gonna go through all the time. So if you can kind of aim at little tiny holes in the mats, you'll have a way better transition getting it out of different areas. But hope that helps you guys if you're looking into punching here in Florida. As you can tell, I'm having an, an awesome day. Just some one little pocket here. By time on water and stuff like that, I, I know this spot and I know that this is a deeper area. And this, this lake seemed like it dropped a little. So I went to a spot I knew that the water is deeper. And voila, got some fish. Started off rough this morning, ended up pretty good. But I think I'm gonna end it here. I'm, I'm ready to go in, go grab some lunch, and then edit this video. So anyways, if you haven't checked them out yet, powering this camera back here that catches every thing I do, <laughs> you know, cause I have it running constantly. Check Wilderness Tech because that's what powers that. Yeah, I don't have to explain it much more, I'll just, the link is down below. You get 10% off if you use CM10. Go check them out. The price is well worth it. I know you can get other brands of batteries with the same amp hour for a little cheaper, but they don't have all the accessory stuff like different ports and stuff like that. And they're not water resistant like that one is. Go give them a look. See if you like it. I like it. So I don't know what, I don't know where I'm going with this. But anyways, check them out. The link is down below. CM10 for 10% off. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like on the bottom, subscribe if you've not subscribed yet, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.